In this video, we'll learn about how to get access to the full text article for searches that we complete in Web of Science. In our previous video, we searched for Great Barrier Reef and Concern, and we applied filters to limit the results down to articles in the last five years, and we added other options as well. We ended up with 176 results, so not too many things to look at. When I look at the results, you'll be able to see if they're accessible by PDF or through a publisher's website, or if you need to find the text through another database. Just because you don't immediately see an option to get access to the article doesn't mean that we don't have access to it somewhere. A lot of these articles have a little find text button underneath them, which is one way that you can get access to the article. We'll come back to that in just a moment. For some articles, you'll see free full text from publisher underneath the article record. If you click on this, you'll go to the publisher's website where you can get access to the article for free. You'll see when I click on this link for the free full text from publisher for this article, I will immediately get access to the PDF for the article. I can then save this article to my computer or print it out. Some articles may not take you immediately to the PDF, but will take you to the publisher's website where you can then look for a PDF or HTML button to get access to the article. A lot of articles in Web of Science, however, will have this Find Text button. That just means that the article isn't immediately available in Web of Science and doesn't have a link to get access to it on the publisher's website immediately. However, that doesn't mean that we don't have access to these articles. To see if you can get access, click Find Text. Basically what Find Text does is it searches through UT's OneSearch, which searches a lot of the databases that we have access to. It should be able to tell you if we have access to the article, and if we do, where you can access it. This article says we do have a full text available. If I scroll down to online access, you'll see that we have access to this online at the database called Springer Link. If I click on this, it will open that database in a new tab and should take us to the page for the article. Now all I need to do is look for the option to view the article or download the PDF. On this page, it's located over here on the side. If I click download PDF, it should open the PDF for me in a new window, which I can then save or print. It's very easy to get access to articles even if they don't have an immediate free read this article link. Sometimes you may find an article that you want to use, but when you click find text, you can't find a way to get access to the article. While we do have access to a variety of different databases and articles, we don't always have everything, but that doesn't mean we can't get it for you. For instance, for this article, Improved Grazing Management Practices in the Catchments of the Great Barrier Reef, if I click find text, You'll see that through OneSearch, we don't have access to this article. When we don't have access to an article, the page for the article will tell you we don't own any physical resources for this title. Now you may be thinking, if you don't have access to the resource, how can I get that? You don't have to go to the publisher's website and spend any money to get access to the article. We actually have a service called Interlibrary Services, which will get you access to the article for free, as long as you're a student or faculty member at UT. To get this article, all I would need to do is select Request from Interlibrary Services under the Availability and Request options. I would then sign in to my Iliad account, which is what we use for interlibrary services. You'll sign in with your NetID and password. The nice thing about using this to request articles is it usually fills out most of the information for you. You will want to make sure that anything with a red star does have information included, so you can check the field and make sure it has the information that you need. This opens in a new tab, so you can go back and compare it to the record in OneSearch. Then you will need to select Submit Request at the bottom of the page to submit your request for the article. The way interlibrary services work is we have partnerships with other libraries, including public libraries and libraries at other institutions. And we agree that if we have an article they don't have, we'll share it with them. Or if they have an article that we don't have access to, they'll share it with us. The way this works is if you request an article, it will usually take us a few days to get that article back in a PDF format from another institution. If you're requesting a book or some other physical material, they actually have to mail that out, so it will take quite a bit longer. Getting articles through interlibrary services is very easy though. You submit the request, and when the request is been received, you will receive an email at your UT email address to log in and download the article. Even if you can't find access to the PDF for an article through the database you're searching, definitely take a look at the OneSearch by clicking the Find Text button under the article record to see if we have access to the article in another database, and if we don't, you can request that article through interlibrary services. And if you have any questions about an article you can't find, stop by the library and we'll help you search for it as well. In our next video, we'll talk about using the cited reference search in Web of Science.